We're on the road to Echuca for the long weekend. We're finally taking our brand new Opus Camper trailer out to give it a try. Because our garage is really um, quite tight, we can't actually put the roof bags on the Opus while it's in the garage. So what we're doing is we've just parked it across the road. We'll close the garage, have to retrieve a chock, because couldn't actually get to that. Um, and then we'll put the roof bag on now, and, and then I think we should be good to go. Close the garage. We're so excited. This is our first proper trip out in the camper trailer. Last weekend, we did just quickly do an overnighter and that was, um, that was purely just a sort of snag test to make sure everything was working. And then it's the King's birthday weekend. So we are off to Echuca. <laughs> We arrived here in Echuca Moama last night. The plan was to arrive sort of late afternoon when it was still light so we could film the pack with the setup of the caravan. Unfortunately, there were major traffic issues in wow. Melbourne. Um, there was something going on on the Balti Bridge and as a result, it took us an hour just to sort of well, get, get through the, yeah, the domain tunnel, get really. To the from <laughs> yeah. our house, which is like a 15 minute drive, took an hour, which is bloody annoying. But... Wasn't ideal. So then yeah. by the time we actually got here, it was pitch black and the setup was somewhat frustrating because we didn't know what we were doing. Well, we're doing it in the dark as well. And so, in the dark. And it was kind of the first time. Yeah, but... with mobile phone lights uh -huh, yeah. and it wasn't really working. Yeah. Um, but we got there. We yes. did it, we got there. But we couldn't film it because there was no light. Mm. So what we're going to do instead is um, as part of this video, we'll sort of show you a little bit around the camper trailer and then we'll save the session from pack away for some future videos. Yeah, exactly. But which which I think is good anyway, because um, it probably will go a bit quicker rather than watching us just reading an instruction booklet. Yeah, it's pretty boring. But, <laughs> yeah. But we're here in Echuca for a few days, which is really exciting because I love Echuca and uh, it's been a long time since we've been here. Yeah. Um, so we're what just, do you reckon? Seven years? Yeah, at least seven, seven years. years. So we're just going to go down and check out the historical port and maybe get on a paddle steamer and just have a wander wander yeah. around. Archie's with us as well, so he can go yeah. on, on, on all the paddle steamers, which yeah, is really cool. Great. Um, and uh, yeah, I think he's a bit keen to go and go and explore like we are, so... Okay, let's go explore! Let's go see what we can find, eh?
So the plan was to go on a steam today. However, they are fully booked out with it being the King's birthday weekend. So we've booked for 9 a.m. bright and early tomorrow morning. We've still come down to the little dock area and we've just seen the PS Adelaide, Paddle Steamer Adelaide leave, which is the boat we'll be getting tomorrow. So we're very excited about that. Got the tickets. Got the tickets here. So this ticket's for us. This ticket's for Archie. Yes, Archie. Woo! <laughs> Archie's ticket. It's so interesting here. The Port of Echuca has so much history. It was actually the second largest port in Victoria, trading port in Victoria, up until the 1880s, which is fascinating. And I always assumed that the divide between New South Wales and Victoria would just be sort of the centre of the river, but that's not the case. This is the divide between New South Wales and Victoria. So the river, the Murray River actually sits in New South Wales. And the reason for that is so that there's just one set of state regulations and laws that apply to the river. Otherwise you could be saying, oh, well, I was, a, I was sailing on this side of the river. So yeah, it doesn't work. Yeah. So what they've done is it's actually based on the high water um, points in Victor on the Victorian side of the river. And that is now the state border. Here we are. Right, so here we are at Moama Waters. Great little caravan park. A little bit outside of town, but it's a massive caravan park with a load of dams and a load of lakes and lots of accommodation. We've got an ensuite side at the moment, which is really cool. Um, and here's our new Opus behind us, all set up, ready to go. Uh, as I said earlier in the episode, we did get here late last night, so we had to set up in the dark. So took quite a long time to do for the first time. Uh, don't recommend doing that in the dark, but uh, anyway, we're here. We had to do a few adjustments this morning, but we're good to go. So I'll show you inside. I won't take you on the full tour just yet because we'll do that for another episode, but uh, I'll show you what's inside. Let's have a look. I think we might find Hannah. No, Hannah's not in here. Hannah's here. Ah, there she is. <laughs> so here we are. This is our annex section of the Opus. So there's two sections. There's obviously the main camper trailer in here, which will show you another time. It's a bit messy at the moment. So we'll show you when it's nice and clean. Uh, and then this is our annex in here. So we've got our slide out kitchen here, which is really cool. Loads of space as well. Hannah's all the way back there. You can see her. Hello, very comfortable. It's really nice and light in here as well. We haven't got any of the windows open as well, and this is how light it is. So once you open some of these windows, it just becomes uh, so much brighter as well. Um, but our fridge is back there. We've got our camping set up at there. Uh, and it's a bit cold here at the moment in Echuca, so that's why we've kind of got all the doors closed. We've got the heating on as well, just to make it a little bit more uh, warmer in here. Um, but yeah, in the summer, we can take off all of these doors and everything, which is really cool, and just have it open and get some air flowing and everything. But um, but yeah, it's a cool little setup. We love it at the moment. It's only our first time using it. Um, so we're going to try and uh, pack the annex away into the uh, Opus. So we heard you can do that. Might have to remove the doors to make it fit, but we should be able to do that and get it in there, make it easier, and we don't have to attach it every time we come out. But, uh, but yeah, this is it. Yeah, it, it's amazing, actually. I actually feel like we've got more space than we had for the caravan, just because the annex feels so permanent. And um, yeah, it's, it's really, really comfortable, actually.
So the number one attraction to do in Echuca is obviously a beer shed. So we're here at the great Australian beer shed. There's thousands of beer cans. It's like my, my dream, this place. But uh, I think they're all empty, which is a bit of a shame. But yeah, there's thousands and thousands of beer cans here, which is really cool. And I thought I'd crack open a beer myself to get in the mood. Um, but yeah, this place is pretty incredible. It's just got all sorts of memorabilia and Beer cans and beer cans and kegs and and little taps and things as well. So oh, there's just there's just so many. Thanks for joining us in Achuca. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.